This episode of Anime Review is brought to you by Crunchyroll.com. Live streaming, all in HD, hundreds of titles to choose from, anime at its best. Check out Crunchyroll.com. The Adventurous Joe. And this week's anime review is Step Up Love Story Complete Collection, or otherwise known as Futari H. Okay, now I gotta tell you one thing right now. This has sexual content in it. Okay, seriously, this is anime meant for the 18 and older crowd, but here's the kicker like Batum, this fucking thing was under normal fucking anime. You couldn't, it's not under adults only anime, which is considered hentai. It was under normal anime. What they call Ichi anime is basically what it was. There was sexual situations in it and stuff like that. From fantasizing to actual sex between the, the, young, husband, the young husband and wife and stuff like that. But it was not like graphic to the point like uh, showing a... Uh, private parts and all that kind of stuff going on. And it was funny as hell at one point when Makoto, the young, the young newlywed husband and stuff, stands up in the out of the bath and starts showing his 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 uh, penis and shit. It actually shows a banana. It showed a banana. I was like, oh my god, it's like air gear. With the whole crow thing, remember? The whole crow sticking. <laughs> yeah, that was very weird anime. <laughs> but this one is beautiful anime at best, okay? Step Up Love Story is the story of Yun Makoto and Yura, his new wife. They just got married, and they just moved into their, their apartment, his apartment together and stuff like that. This is their story, okay? They are both virgins. They're both 25 years old. That means they've never experienced what lovemaking was like, nor sex for that matter. They've seen it in magazines, they've seen it on TV and stuff like that, but never actually experienced it for themselves. And when they do, it's like it opens a whole new world for the both of them. They can't get enough of one another. And But at the same time, they aren't, you know, satisfied. Okay, so they start talking to their friends to learn different things and stuff besides just the whole missionary position thing and stuff and getting right down to business and everything. Okay, they start talking to their friends and learn different things. Makoto and Yura both talk to Yura's sister, her younger sister about things and tell them, you know, all sorts of things that, you know, she's practically like a big slut. I mean, seriously. She is practically like a big slut. She has four different boyfriends. She has four different boyfriends. One for every day of the week, apparently. And it, Makoto even brings that up at one point. He says, great. He says, great. My sex life is kind of, a, is kind of wonky, and my sister-in-law's a huge slut. <laughs> Either way, this series was beautiful okay it's not just sex and all that kind of shit it had some great humor in it especially when you see them talking to their friends or loved ones about sex you know what was sex like between them and stuff when Yura is listening to her two best gal pals talk about their sex lives and stuff like that she's just like you know like yeah, turn it all red in the face and stuff like embarrassed as hell and uh, I mean it shows Makoto really loves Yura okay because at one point he had the opportunity to nail a bro this girl he works with and stuff in a hotel room she even was dressed down to her you know her bra and panties and stuff and you know he told her he can't do that and stuff like that with her 
and he comforted her, okay? But he never cheated on Yura. He never slept with the girl. I mean, it tests everything in this, okay? It's not just about lovemaking or sex and stuff like that. It's about how a young couple is trying to experience life itself. And like I said, besides the sexual content, okay, it was funny as hell. It was fun anime to watch, but I gotta tell you right now, this is supposed to be adults only kind of anime, and it was found under anime. Regular fucking anime. Seriously, I I'm like blown away at this shit. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Either way, my final verdict on this, I would have loved to have seen two more episodes of this. It only has four episodes in total. Two volumes, two episodes each. Okay, I would have loved to have seen two more episodes of this where Futari, you know, Futari, ha 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 ha, where Makoto and Yura got pregnant, okay? Like, it ended the sixth episode with that, her telling them that, you know, they're gonna have a baby and stuff like that. Something that shows that their love progressed into something amazing, okay? Something incredible. Now, I, my final verdict on this is going to be an 8 out of 10, mostly for the factor that it leaves you on a cliffhanger based ending. Okay, I hate cliffhanger-based endings, but it was a good cliffhanger-based ending because it's about Makoto and Yura, how they explore each other, how they're exploring their lives together and stuff as a man and wife, and learning that it's not just about being a husband and wife, it's not just about the sex, it's about how their love brings them always back to one another and stuff. How, no matter what the difficult times, they always come back to one another. And like I said, it's beautiful anime. It's beautiful, even in the love scenes. It's beautiful. I'm a, seriously great stuff. Either way, my final verdict is an 8 out of 10. I would love to have seen two more episodes of this, or, you know, even four more episodes of this, just to show something that the series progressed into. Okay? But that isn't the case here. There, it's only four episodes long, and it was still good to watch. Okay, and the sex, okay, it sometimes doesn't even show full, full sex. I mean, you can hear the noises, you can see, you see Yura's breasts at times and stuff like that, and, or, but there's nothing real to it. I mean, it, that's why I guess they call it ichi kind of stuff. It's not real anything big to it, you know. I guess that's why it was found in a normal anime. Would I recommend it? Yes, I highly recommend you check it out, Step Up Love Story. Fantastic anime, beautiful story, I mean, and funny as hell, too. To find out two 25-year-old virgins get married to one another, never experienced anything in their life of sex whatsoever, and then they're just like, they can't get enough of each other, but at the same time, they want to try new things and make it their sex life even better. And that's amazing. And it's, it would have been even more amazing to finish off it instead of, like, a cliffhanger-type ending. Either way, also, badass seal of approval. It's got some funny-as-hell shit in it. I mean, that makes it badass. I mean, especially when it comes to Makoto, uh, Yura's little sister, okay? She is like a devil woman of sorts, okay? And it's funny as hell, her one boyfriend, she punishes the holy hell out of him every time she's with him. Like, it, he starts uh, he starts trying to get her from behind her or something, and gra starts grabbing her boobs. She goes like this, he goes, whoop! It's like, oh, God, that had to hurt. Either way, it's still funny as hell. It was great to watch. Not squeamish about it. It was not exactly adult-only anime. I meant seriously. Found under normal anime, but at the same time, not exactly adult type anime. Nothing that you would see in regular anime. Stuff like a uh, police teacher had a special nudity and stuff like that in it. But either way, my final verdict stands at an 8 out of 10. Badass seal of approval for the funny hilarity to it and stuff. The storyline itself, fantastic. And high recommendation, two thumbs up. I, I totally cow recommend you check this series out. It's only, like I said, only four episodes long, and it was still pretty good to watch. Alright, and that's it for our episode of Anime Review for this week. I have been your host, as always, The Adventurous Joe Joseph Michaels. If you want to get in some great anime of your own, 
check out the link down in the description to Crunchyroll.com. Thousands of anime titles to choose from. Great stuff to watch. Live stream it to your Xbox 360, your Xbox One, PS4, PS3, whatever the device. It can, it can come on there and you can watch it anytime. No late fees to worry about paying for rentals or anything like that. Watch all the anime you want anytime you want with Crunchyroll.com. And that's it for us here. I'll be seeing you next time on the next anime review. Until next time, peace out, and may the force be with you, people.